Hello and welcome to Racket Mount installment number six. In this installment of Racket Mount, we are doing the mother of all clay tournaments, French Open Roland Garros. <coughs> Roland Garros. Oh. French Open Roland Garros. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Roland Garros. The French Open Roland Garros, it is, like I said, the mother of all clay tournaments. It is a major, it is a Grand Slam, so 2,000 ranking points up for the winner. The finalist gets 1,300 and 780 points for the semi-finalists, so a lot of points there to be picked up. Last year, Simona Halep won in the final against Sloane Stephens in three sets. The year before, um, Alona Ostapenko won in the final against Simona Halep, so Simona Halep's made the final two times in the last two years. Um, and she's been in a third final at the French Open as well. Um, so it was third time lucky for her last year. She's the defending champion for this year, and she probably is one of the hot favourites, although she hasn't had the best clay season this year. Straight into this one, for my picks, I'm actually going with seven this time. I have uh, two separate accounts, my personal account and my Racket Mouth account, and I'm combining the two for this one because the draw is 128, um, which is literally double any of the biggest other tournaments. So I'm going with a joint one here. Petra Kvitova is going to be in both, so that's why it's seven and not eight. Like I said, I will always go with Petra Kvitova, and with that, she is my first choice. Petra Kvitova is going in. Um, she's had a pretty good clay season, and she's proven over the last sort of 15 months she's picked up three clay titles. So that's putting her as a pretty good favourite considering her... Um, her form throughout the season so far. Next up is um, Kiki Burdens. She has proven to be very good on clay consistently for a number of years now and she's had two good runs in the previous two tournaments and I think that that um, just proves she's got to be a favourite. Next up is of course Simona Hallett with her three Roland Garros finals and one of those being a title win. Um, it's pretty silly to not put her in there so Simona Hallett is going in. Next up is Karolina Pliskova. She too has also proven last year or two um, that she can play quite well on clay, so I'm looking forward to seeing her push forward and perhaps get her first uh, Grand Slam title here. Next up is Garbina Muguruza. She has won the title here before back in 2016 and last year was a semi-finalist, so she's got some points to defend there, so I think she's going to be pushing hard for it. She does play well on clay as she's proven before, so she's going in. Um, next up is Victoria Azarenka. Um, she just won the doubles title with Ash Barty last week in Rome, as well as a quarterfinal run there. So I feel like her form has just been picking up and up and up, and I think that she's got what it takes to uh, take some of the big big ones down and get her way through the draw. Um, last and not least, Serena Williams. I wasn't going to, but she's that player, that one player who doesn't have to have any sort of warm-up tournaments beforehand and come through and just win a Grand Slam. Um, Although clay is probably not her best, that doesn't bother me. I put her in for this one. Um, I still think she's probably going to perform well. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I hope if you're interested in betting, you're having a look at this. If you're doing um, WTA Fantasy, I'd, I'd really like to know who you're going for. Um, even if you're not playing WTA Fantasy, interact with me. That's fun. Thank you and Racket Mouth out.